Welcome to Pocus Geek. In this video we're going to continue to review the workup for lower extremity DVT and we're going to focus on the high risk group. You'll, If you've watched the moderate risk group video you'll notice that this algorithm is quite similar and reflects how I use point of care ultrasound in performing this. Once again here's the Wells score. If you need time to review that go ahead and hit pause. Otherwise we're going to move on and review this. So a score, well score of 3 or above puts you in the high risk group for lower extremity DVT. And our algorithm is going to be this. So what they actually recommend in this group is a proximal vein compression ultrasound. And if you remember back from, or if you've watched it, for the moderate group, this is where I start out at also. And this will look a lot like that algorithm I recommended for that. And what they recommend is if it's positive, you're going to treat for that DVT. If, however, it's negative, they recommend drawing a high sensitivity D dimer. If the high sensitivity D dimer is positive, but you've had a negative proximal vein compression ultrasound, then they recommend repeating the proximal vein compression ultrasound in one week. If, however, it's negative, then they feel that no further evaluation for DVT is needed in this patient. So here's the entire algorithm, pretty straightforward in them. If you've watched the moderate risk and the high risk, this is how I treat them both. Um, it's easy to do, to go in on that initial evaluation and obtain a proximal vein compression ultrasound. And then if you're working them up for other things or other etiologies or concerns, you can get the high sensitivity D-dimer after your initial evaluation. Um, along with your other labs and then that just is going to help you with follow-up. Um, just remember that a negative proximal vein compression ultrasound in moderate to high risk patients alone is not sufficient for the workup. You do need to get a D-dimer. Now alternatively you can uh, get a whole leg ultrasound. Uh, like I stated in the moderate risk video, um, the, the sensitivities for that vary quite a bit. Um, that's not typically part of, of point of care ultrasound, so you know if it's your vascular lab or radiology lab doing it, that's fine. But the sensitivities aren't always great. If it's negative, they recommend no repeat ultrasound. In the high risk group, uh, you may be treating for those uh, distal DVTs. That's still um, controversial, but that's the current rec or the current. Um, algorithms that they do recommend. Here we're focusing on point of care ultrasound utilization on this channel and that's why I'm focusing on this algorithm. I hope that you found that topic useful. If you have questions about it or other related point of care ultrasound questions feel free to email me at pocusgeek at gmail.com or comment below. Also subscribe to this channel to get updates on this topic or other point of care ultrasound related subjects.